So maybe a couple weeks ago, Oscar De La Hoya, he wanted to sign Shakur Stevenson. And when Shakur Stevenson decided he wasn't going to sign with Oscar De La Hoya, this is when Oscar started calling him boring and threatening that Shakur will never get the Williams to pay the fight now that he didn't sign with Oscar. But then once Turkey Alashi came out and made it very clear that his goal is to make this fight between Shakur and William Zapata, this is when Oscar De La Hoya changed his tune. And now he's saying the fight is going to happen. But even when he says the fight is going to happen, he still finds a way to diss Shakur Stevenson. This is what Oscar recently said. He said, I want to make the fight. Shakur skill-wise is probably the best fighter on the planet today, but he has to be able to sell tickets. It will happen. I will make that fight. Now, let me just start by saying this. Oscar De La Hoya is a boxing promoter. His job is to promote the fight. So why would Oscar imply that Shakur can't sell tickets when it's not even true? Well, what Oscar De La Hoya is doing is called propaganda. What's so ironic is William Zapata is the one that cannot sell tickets. Do you guys know when William Zapata fights, nobody watches his fights. No one even knows or cares when William Zapata is fighting. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not making this up at all. Ask Oscar De La Hoya how many tickets did William Zapata sell in his last fight. Shakur Stevenson versus Artem Harutian. It was the most watched fight of the year on ESPN. And Oscar De La Hoya, he knows this. The only time people are going to tune in to watch William Zapata is if he's fighting the likes of a Shakur Stevenson or a Javante Tank Davis. By the way, the footage I have on the screen right here, this was the audience that tuned in to watch Shakur Stevenson's last fight. I want to wrap this video up by saying this. You know, the weather may change. The date changes all the time. But the truth, it never changes, for better or worse, regardless if you like it or not. There are a lot of things that I said about Shakur Stevenson that he personally did not like, but it was the whole truth. Everything I said was the truth, and I had the receipts to back it up. And whenever Shakur Stevenson, he says something stupid or doesn't make sense at all, I'm going to expose it with the whole truth. But at the same time, when someone like Oscar De La Hoya comes out and he says something that's not true at all about Shakur Stevenson, I'm going to expose that as well. That's how the truth works. It does not change. It's not based on if you like someone or if you don't like someone. The truth is the truth. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.